Stocking up on supplies at the Aurora market, more people means more business, but the closures do have another effect. Dispatchers in the city hear the roads closed, oh my God, don't send anything, but then they, they don't realize it, you know, we're just on this side of it, so send it anyway. They don't want it, they can't afford to send out full trucks just for a little bit of stuff we get. At the Snowshoe Inn Cafe, a different kind of shortage. I oh, can't even get a hold of workers right now because it was just so busy, going back and forth. And, yeah. Yeah. It's been steady, sweating it out too. <laughs> Trucks line the shoulder of Highway 3, the Big River service station packed. <laughs> Some stuck here since Sunday afternoon. By my count, there are several dozen trucks that are stopped here. Not a good thing for these companies or these drivers because for them, Time is money. Obviously, I'm not making any money. If the wheels aren't turning, I'm not making any money. It's a cat and mouse game because uh, we race all the way up here from Edmonton because we were here and the road was open. And uh, we get here, then now we're shut down. At the campground, about 40 people from Betchco are camped out. It's not all bad. Well, you gotta love this Mother Nature thing right here. Nice sun shining, nice food, camp out. Just lay around, eat. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I go for a walk to kill more time. They are thankful for the food given to them by the Degagoti First Nation. They've been giving us salad, trout, and we got um, bannock and duck soup yesterday. It was really good. They're really good people. Chief Joachim Bonnet Rouge says it's the right thing to do. I guess a, a, a bit of a, an emergency if you have family and uh, it, you don't expect it. So uh, we, we realize that and we help out. Uh, as much as we can. Help Bonnet Rouge says he's happy to give to friends and family from up the road. Jacob Barker, CBC News, Fort Providence.